felt like a game. Let's get a game. Against the bogeyman. Still recovering with sinuses, but hey, what can you do? I'm feeling solid. Let's go solid. We'll do an exchange if he doesn't take. Very, very solid. Now, I do like bishop g5 there. It's a move that Perlstein played quite a lot. But bishop g5, knight e4 is pretty okay for black. So I'm just going to go with the standard bishop f4. And now I'm going to make sure my opponent can't mimic me exactly by playing an early queen b3 here. Uh-huh, and this looks kind of problematic. If I go knight e5, knight takes, pawn takes. Looks like something worth testing. Sometimes solid can be devastating early. And also, I'm going to play e4. Like, say, if knight h5, e4. Knight takes h4, bishop b5 is going to win the queen. Uh-oh. I don't know how he's going to... Wriggle out of this. Doesn't look very fun. As if something like queen c8. Ooh. We take those. Now, I'm just going to castle. Actually, even should I? Should I just play knight takes e4? Because I'm covering d3. Yeah, getting some play. Makes me a little bit nervous, but I think we'll be okay. All right, we never lost the G-pawn, which I kept expecting the opponent to take. <clears throat> now it's just a queen versus two Bs, and I don't think the, uh, the bogeyman is going to be able to survive. But as we've seen on the channel, I've won. I've won. Worn. Worn. I've won worse positions. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to watch out for that. Rook c8, he's threatening bishop c5. So need to be mindful of that. It's probably king h1. 
When you're up material, you just look to trade down. So we're looking to simplify the win here. Make life easy. We can just uh, trade that last set of rooks. I expect rook c8. I'm going to go there just prophylaxis against any potential pin idea. All right, ditto. Make you make a move since you don't want to. You really don't want to. What is the most efficient way to do this? Let's first start there. I wanted to play knight e4, but I didn't want to hang the e pawn. I see. Well, he's getting an unreasonable amount of play here. <clears throat> Bishop f4 is good. But I'm going to go knight d6. Time will become a factor pretty soon. Okay, will three pieces be able to hold off the queen here? All right, we're able to force that trade, which helps tremendously. Let's go there first to provoke bishop f6. I want b6. Seemed like a good time to do that. My opponent put up much more resistance than expected after getting blown out from a very solid exchange slav. And yeah, queen b3 just kind of Surprised him. You pretty much have to go knight a5. And here, yeah, I did find the correct variation, but I feel like my follow up was probably lackluster. Queen takes b7 makes a lot of sense. I'm just allowing the counterplay. Knight e4. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. G3 it liked better. Didn't like me putting the king there, but I did. 
find a path to trade down, which it liked. So overall, I think I, I played a relatively solid game. Gave my opponent more chances than warranted in the ending. But uh seemed like he started playing pretty well towards the end there. But I did find correct continuations for the most part. Queen e4 is more accurate to go there. But even here, this looks pretty easy. It's just the pieces can't ever stay really safe. So that'll do it for this very Ulf-like exchange love.